Hi, this is Math 6, Lesson 4-9. Use patterns to write and solve equations. In this lesson, we'll be able to use patterns to write and solve equations with variables. Let's look at solve and discuss it. The table below shows how many candles are in different numbers of boxes. Find the pattern that explains the relationship between the values of C and B. Use words and numbers to describe the pattern. How many candles will, will there be in 10 boxes? Let's look at the patterns. Number candle C increases from 8 to 12, 12 to 16. Number boxes B increases from 2 to 3 to 3 to 4. Okay, how can you get from each value in the left column to its matching value in the right column? So do you see any patterns? How are the numbers related? A divided by four is two. Okay. Um, 12 divided by four is three. Huh, what is this? Okay. And 16 divided by four is also four. So do we have a pattern? Same pattern for all these values. Yes, we do. So what's the pattern? How can we describe them? Divide each value of C by four to get B is what we did. So C divided by four is equal to values of B. Okay, C and B. So how do we get the value of candles or the, when, when there's 10 boxes? Boxes is, is B, right? So if there's 10 boxes, if B is 10, what's C? In order to get C, from B to C, what do you do? Four times four, three times Four, two times four. So B is equal to C times four. Okay, so and um or and C is wait, wait. No, B is equal to C divided by four. Uh C is equal to B times four. So if B is 10. C is equal to 10 times 4. So C is 40. In 10 boxes, there will be this? 40 candles. Okay. Focus on math practices. Write a rule that explains how you get from the values in the right column of the table above to the values in the left column. What was the pattern we looked at? Multiply B by four to get C, okay? So in this lesson, we'll think about how we can use a pattern to write and solve an equation. Example one, find a pattern to write an equation. The table shows the cost of weekend tickets to the slide and splash water park. Find a pattern that relates the number of tickets N and the cost C of the tickets. How much would six tickets cost? So figure out the pattern and let's figure out how much six tickets would cost. How does finding the cost of one ticket help you to find a pattern that relates the variables? We have three tickets that cost 16.5, four tickets that cost 22, five tickets that cost 27.5, okay? So first we're gonna look for the pattern of the table that relates C, the dependent variable, and the N, the independent variable. Okay, the number of tickets uh, will be the independent variable because it, it causes the cost, right? 
So three times 5.5 is 16.5. Four times 5.5 is 22. Five times 5.5 is 27.5. So you can say that each ticket will cost $5.5. You're gonna write an equation to describe the relationships. Five times five N, uh, 5.5 times N is equal to C, the value of C. So C is equal to 5.5 N. So find the cost for six tickets. Six tickets is when N is six. So 5.5 times six would be 33. The cost of six tickets is $33. Okay, let's look at try question. The table shows the number of yards, Y, that a professional bicyclist rides in S seconds. Find the pattern that relates the variables. If the cyclist maintains this speed, how far would the cyclist ride in eight seconds? So figure out the pattern first, and we'll figure out uh, how many yards the bikes, bicyclist uh, rides in, in eight seconds. Okay, so what's the pattern? Two times what, three times what, Five times what, six times what would be uh, the, these numbers. Okay, figure out a pattern. 24.4 divided by two is 12.2. 36.6 divided by three is 12.2. 61 divided by five. So you can divide yards by S to see if there is a proportional relationship. And that's 12.2 as well. So what do you know? Two times 12.2 is 24.4. And three, five, six, if you multiply them by 12.2, you get these numbers. So how can we write that as an equation? Y is equal to, number of yards is equal to, the seconds times 12.2. So 12.2 times S, okay? And so, how many yards would be in eight seconds? So use your equation, 12.2 times eight is 97.6. So 97.6 yards would be in eight seconds. Convince me, how do you know that the equation you wrote describes the pattern in the table? Okay, you can check it uh, each pair of values in the table that makes the equation true. So you can check if two times 12.2 is equal to y and three, five, six and everything, okay? And if it does make sense, it will, it will be consistent. Are these the only four values that will work in this table? No, any four values would work. You could plug in any numbers, right? The, the given row will maintain the relationship regardless of the chosen values. Example two, make and analyze a table to write an equation. Ethan owes his mother $75. He repays his mother a set amount each week. How much will Ethan owe his mother after 12 weeks? Okay. So right now he owes $75. And then he's going to pay the same amount every week. So pay mom $5. Pay mom $5. There's a reminder, right? So he's going to pay mom $5 every week. And so... How much will he owe after he paid $5 each week for 12 weeks? So you can make a table to see the pattern. Zero week, he owes 75, that's where he starts from. And then after a week, he pays $5 at 70. Two weeks, he pays another five and, and now he owes it to see five and so on. So you keep subtracting it, right? So, 
as the number of weeks is added by one, the amount O decreases by five, okay? So the pattern is from 75, you decrease five times your number of weeks, okay? Start with the amount O, and then it decreases by five every week. So your equation would be the amount still owed will be A and the loan amount, the first amount you're starting with is 75. Now you subtract five each week. So W will be the number of weeks you've already paid. So let's find out how much Ethan will owe after 12 weeks using this equation, 75 minus five times 12 will be 75 minus 60, which is 15. So after 12 weeks, which is about three months, she, uh, he paid most of uh, the amount and he only owes $15 to his mom. He only has to pay three weeks more if he continues this pattern. Let's look at try it. If Ethan continues pay, to pay five per week, $5 per week, how many more weeks will be, will he need to pay his mother after 12 weeks? Okay, how much more? If he pays five every week, we just talked about it, five times three is 15. So you need, he needs to pay three weeks more. Explain. Ethan owes $15 at 12 weeks. So if he pays $5 times three weeks, he will pay what he owes. Okay. So that was lesson 4-9. Let's summarize our lesson. You can use patterns in a table to write an equation that relates to independent and dependent variables. Okay, so look for patterns and then um, practice writing the patterns into an equation. So that was our lesson 4-9. Use patterns to write and solve equations. Let's continue with the next lesson in the next video. And that's our last lesson.